What's good, peeps? Welcome to the channel. Now, there are a lot of clues out there in the MCU right now that lead a lot of people to believe we'll be seeing our boy Mephisto in the MCU real soon. So let's find out who is Mephisto. Mephisto is known by many names. A few of the more popular ones, Satan, Legion, Nick Scratch, and the Devil. Billions of years ago, the Elder Gods degenerated into demons. The Earth Goddess Gaia, to protect the Earth, set free the Demogorg that consumed all the demons who did not escape the Earth Realm. But their mystical energy lingered, over time spawning a new race of demons who became known as the Hell Lords. Mephisto is one of the Lords of Hell, beings who rule over their fiery netherworlds. Mephisto rules his own pocket dimension named Hell. He is in the practice of collecting souls of recently deceased as his power is increased with the more souls he has. Mephisto can manipulate matter, levitate, project astrally, teleport, shapeshift, and the list goes on. But you get the point. He's extremely powerful. He spends the bulk of his time trying to get mortals to commit sin to ensure they will come to his realm. He often makes agreements with mortals, granting them wealth, superhuman powers, love, or saving the life of a loved one. These agreements are closed with a contract signed in blood. The contracts don't usually work out the way the contractee had envisioned, but always live up to the terms of the written contract. In the recent era, Mephisto has turned his attention from mere mortals to superhumans. He has tried to steal the souls of many super beings, such as the Silver Surfer and Thor. The stunt performer, Johnny Blaze, made a deal with Mephisto. When his adopted father was diagnosed with cancer, Mephisto appeared, offering to cure his cancer in exchange for Johnny becoming his servant. The deal was accepted, and Johnny's adopted father, Crash Simpson, was cured of cancer, but he didn't know it. He attempted a stunt of jumping 22 cars, feeling if he was going to die, he was going to go out the way he wanted to, attempting the jump. Needless to say, he died in the attempt. When Mephisto came to collect on his portion of the deal, he bonded Blaze to Zarathos, leading him to become the Ghost Rider. When Mephisto was destroyed by Franklin Richards, Mephisto was reborn due to the evil within humanity. He found his soul was split into six shards, and he only possessed one. He tricked Master Pandemonium into hunting down the shards, believing they belonged to him. During that time, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch, had used her magic to create twin sons for her and her husband Vision. Unknowingly, she had tapped into two of Mephisto's soul fragments to do so. Eventually, Master Pandemonium found the two shards, Billy and Tommy. Mephisto then reabsorbed them, ending their lives. Doctor Doom's mother, Cynthia Von Doom's soul, was trapped in Mephisto's realm as a result of a deal she had made with him. Mephisto allowed Doctor Doom to challenge him for his mother's freedom once a year as amusement. Doom consistently lost. After Spider-Man's identity had been revealed to the world, the Kingpin sent someone to kill Spider-Man and Aunt May was shot. Mephisto appeared, offering Peter a deal to save Aunt May and have the world forget Spider-Man's secret identity. The cost would be his marriage to Mary Jane. Peter reluctantly accepted the deal because it was his last hope to save Aunt May. Mephisto upheld his end of the deal and Aunt May was saved and his secret identity was restored. As Mephisto departed, he showed Peter his unborn child he would now never have with MJ. At one point, Dr. Doom had earned a favor from Dr. Strange. Doom cashed in that favor, asking Strange to assist him in saving his mother's soul. Strange and Doom fought their way all the way to Mephisto, eventually freeing his mother's soul. Mephisto is so powerful, he has even done battle with the likes of Galactus and held his own. The battle did occur in the Hell Realm, where Mephisto is his strongest, but he was still able to fight Galactus to a draw. Mephisto has also come into conflict with most of Earth's more known heroes for one reason or another. Now that's a brief origin and backstory on Mephisto. He's been a part of a lot more adventures and stories in the Marvel Universe. So, do you think we'll see Mephisto soon in the MCU? What do you think about the theory that it was Mephisto and not Doctor Strange in the No Way Home trailer? Also, don't forget about the Doctor Strange Supreme Funko Pop giveaway we're doing on the 30th of August. All you have to do to be eligible to win is be a subscriber to the channel, 
and like and comment on any video released this week. It's that easy. Well, as always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out my videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm out. Peace.